Okay, rational numbers and decimals. And so how do we convert a rational number to a decimal? And what is a rational number? Well, right here, we see that a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio of two integers. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. To a ratio. A ratio is really just a fancy number for a fraction. And integers, we should know what integers are. Those are the positive and negative whole numbers. So right here. There's a ratio of integers, 4 over 7. And it's rational, as is 0 0.37, because 0 0.37, this 7 right here is in the hundredths place. And the reason why we call it the hundredths, H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S, is because we can put that over 100. So 37 hundredths is 37 hundredths. And so there you go. This is a ratio of two integers. 37 is an integer, and so is 100. Okay, so here, use a calculator to find the decimal equivalent. So I have my calculator here. And 1 fourth, well, that's called 1 quarter. And a quarter is 25 cents. So I don't need a calculator for that. That's 0 0.25. Now I'll do 5 eighths, so that's 5 divided by 8, and that's 0 0.625. Two thirds, two divided by three. So this is a ra these are all rational numbers because they're all ratios of integers. Uh, that is 0 0.6 repeating. So I will write 0 0.6 and six repeats. So I'll put a bar over that right there. Two ninths, two divided by nine is 0 0.2 repeating, and we have 0 0.2 repeating, and 12 divided by five. 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. And, oh, this is, oh, that number right there is in the tenths place. So that is 2 over 10. And I could simplify that to 1 over 5. And this one right here, 0.875, the 5 is in the, what, that's tenths hundreds, thousands. So it's 875 over 1,000, and I'm too lazy to simplify that. Okay, so now we are asked to find the corresponding fraction and gives the decimal given. Okay, write the fraction in the simplest form. <gasps> no. Well, I could. I do know that this is equal to 7 eighths, I believe, if I divide each of those by what? 25-ish? Uh, 75? Uh, 7 eighths. Okay, our conjecture. Well, what do you notice about the digits after the decimal point and the decimals from the calculation, from the fractions? And compare your notes with a neighbor. Well, you're not going to have a neighbor right now, but this is what I want to tell you. The digits after the decimal neither repeat nor terminate. So they either, <laughs> they either, not neither, they either repeat or they terminate. Hello, can you just erase please? They either repeat or terminate. So as we look here, a terminating decimal is a decimal that comes to an end right there. It terminates. This one terminates. This one repeats. That one repeats. That one terminates. There's a terminating one. There's a terminating one. So they either repeat or they terminate from these rational numbers. Okay, let's consider this way. 1, 0, 1, there's a pattern happening here. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, okay, whoa, look at that. There's 1, 0, there's 2, 0, there's 3, 0, there's 4, 0, there's 5, 0. Okay, is this rational? Well, no, since the digits after the number do not terminate or repeat, so it doesn't come to an end, and there's no, there's a pattern here, but it's not a repeating pattern. It doesn't have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, or 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and so on. Do you think a negative sign affects whether or not a number is rational? Well, no, because I can have negative 8 over 5, and that equals negative 1.6 when I put in a calculator here. I'll show you. Uh, 8 divided by 5, 8 divided by 5 is 1.6. And positive divided by negative is negative, as we know from the zero triangle. So that is a uh, terminating decimal. There you go. All right. So do you think a mixed number is a rational number? Hmm. Well, 
Uh, yeah, it is because it can be re that that mixed number can be rewritten as an improper fraction. And there you go. You're, you got your improper fraction. So if you have two and three fourths, we multiply four times two, which is eight. 9, 10, 11, and that's 11 fourths. And there is a ratio of integers right there, which means it's a rational number. Okay, now writing rational numbers as decimals. Okay, so we can have terminating decimals, they come to an end, and we can have repeating decimals that just keep on repeating themselves, that pattern. And we have this. So write the rational number as a decimal. Okay, every fraction is a division problem. I call the top one the cowboy and the bottom one the horse. And that helps me know what goes where. Because if you if you put the number in the wrong part of the long division problem, then you're going to get the wrong answer. So 5 is the cowboy, and the cowboy sleeps inside the house. And 16 is the horse, the horse sleeps outside the house. And now here it's long division. 5 is the same thing as 5.0, and we keep on adding zeros. And the rest of this is regular long division. So negative 5 sixteenths is this decimal. And then we have this, 13 over 33. And cowboy sleeps inside and horse sleeps outside. And we do the long division and we can see, bam, that right there is 0.39393939, which is 0.39 with a bar over the 3 and the 9 because both items repeat. And... I have a few others here. I'm going to have negative four sevenths. Uh, that is four divided by seven, which is that. Okay. Five, seven, one, four, eight, five. Okay. What I do know is this it's point five, seven, one, four, eight, two, five. And then that keeps on repeating five, seven, and so on. So what I do know about this stuff is this will repeat right all this part repeats. So I'll put a bar over all that. And don't forget, this is a negative. So my decimal is a negative. This whole thing, I had to write it down there to make a uh, uh, there you go. And I didn't put the bar over that because that part isn't the repeating part. This is the repeating. So you see five, seven, five, seven, and so on. One third. I know that one third is, uh, well, two thirds is 0. 0.6 repeating. One third is 0. 0.3 repeating. And so that's 0. 0.3 repeating. And nine over 20. If we have nine divided by 20, that is 0. 0.45. So that's negative 0. 0.45 or 45 hundredths. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is this. Uh, we can convert mixed numbers as decimals. So if we have a mixed number like 6 and 3 fourths, let's write that as a decimal. This 6, we're going to save, and we're going to, write, we're going to divide the 3 fourths here using long division. Cowboy sleeps inside, horse sleeps outside. That long division gives us 0.75. And remember, we didn't do anything with the 6 yet. So here, if 6 and 3 fourths means 6 plus 3 fourths, and that 3 fourths was 0.75, that means 6 and 3 fourths is the same thing as 6.75. And that's all you got to know.